attend and welcome your Chicago Wolves! But first, please welcome number 94, the Chicago Wolves mascot, Skates! We've had the privilege of working with Strictly since the inception of the Wolves, and the show that we put on is what makes the Wolves just above and beyond any other major league team. Like I think our opening show, comparing to NFL, NHL, MLB, is the best in, in, in any league, and, and that's totally due to Strictly FX. You know, what we always tell people is that this is the biggest show in sports. You can go downtown and see a, a game down there, and you're not going to see as much stuff as you'll see at a Wolves game. I mean, the biggest thing is essentially the evolution of the show. It was uh, a creative meeting where we used to have uh, pyramids that were on the ice, and then from the pyramids we went to Trust that had a wolf head and a fire shot out of its mouth, and then there was the, well, what's next? And then we started um, expanding with the set pieces and things like that. You know, Mark was the first one to come up with the paws with the flames coming out of them. It was just one of those basically, uh, how about if there's a giant wolf head, and then there was Everybody was kind of like, well, a wolf head, that's kind of cool. They were like, what if it had paws? And it was like, well, that'd be really cool if it had a wolf head and then paws. And then if the paws had flames come out of them. So it kind of, from there, it kind of grew. And then that lasted for a while. And then we felt that we wanted to really modernize and kind of have a little bit of a darker look. We also had some constraints uh, just getting equipment off and on the ice. It's fairly difficult. So, uh, you know, to, to kind of alleviate that problem, we made everything lighter and smaller um, so that it can get through the opening. Before, the physical structure was this giant wolf head that was as deep as it was wide. So trying to get it through the Zamboni opening was very difficult. So what we decided to do was make something that was still as wide, but made it very thin so that when we tried to bring it through the Zamboni opening, it was very easy. And actually, we were able to make it wider so that we weren't kind of constrained by what, what the physical opening was. That actually helped us too because with some of the other clubs we started building set pieces and things that we would build the effects into. But the Wolves were the first ones to do that. One of the neatest things was in 2008 when we raised the banner for the Calder Cup. We had the privilege of presenting this cup you know, three times before this and it's always looking for an inventive way to introduce it. Well, the Calder Cup where it rose up out of the thing, um, you know, that, that was just one of those moments where we all kind of sit here and it's like, what, what can we do that hasn't been done? Um, so, you know, we put CO2 jets into it so it looked as if it was being lifted up out of it. Um, you know, we had these uh, ribbon lifts that are about an 18 inch high uh, uh, platform that can go up 16 feet in the air. It's three uh, zipper kind of uh, pieces of metal that come together and can lift up about 200 pounds. So it's a very small, uh, structure that can go very high in the air. So we stuck it into a box, put some logos on the outside of it, and then there was magic. It was a moment. Typically there's three people at a game. One person is up with the laser system, there's one person on the ice that handles the flames and the pyro, and then there's one operator. I mean, most people are running, um, they'll run lights, they'll run lasers, they'll run uh, pyro, whatever, on on three different systems or four different systems just to control it. On your system, the only thing that we press the button on really is the beginning of the show and the flame cannons. So really you have an automated show. So, And actually it's the laser software that runs the lights, that runs the pyro, that cues it up. I think it talks about the dedication that our ownership, Don and Buddy, have to the show that we give to our fans. So it's not a show we do once every couple games. We put on this major show every single game in a show from a company that is doing Black Eyed Peas and Corn and all these type of shows and we have the privilege of having them and they are awesome to work with. They, they are as invested in our show as we are and coming with new ideas. How do we make it better? What's the new hot firework and pyro and laser and it's awesome. It's a, a huge privilege for us and it's, the, it's symbolic of Don Levin and, and Buddy Myers and what they, how much they care about their fans and what they want to get back to them. Thank you.